Hello everyone. You all make excellent decision to watch this video. You are clearly should. So let me introduce you some interesting and useful content about file management. File management is about the way to organize our digital files. Most people have to deal with many computer files every day, especially for the office worker, teachers, and students. We have to write papers, reports, edit the photos, and download various files from the internet. You may have encountered these unpleasant situations. If you are a student, this comic may describe your situation. And sometimes you remember you have a file but can't find it. Even use the search function, and also you may have a messy desktop or messy download folders. Forgive me if this picture makes you feel uncomfortable. This image shows the different files that around us every day. How to make them organized? That is the question. In order to answer that question, I will separate it into three sections: file naming, file version, and file structure. The first two is about files. The last file structure is about folders. Generally, the file management is how we handle files and folders. First of all, let's see file naming. Convention means you should have a file naming system or habit and follow it. Obviously, the name of files should be descriptive and consistent. Below. Shows the best practice of file naming. You can see the first one is limited the file name to 32 characters and use leading zeros. Don't use special characters and use only one period. Avoid using generic data file names. This is the. Practical file naming convention I usually follow. First is the date created, year, month, and day, because when the files are sorted by the title, it's easy to find what I want. Second is about the content of the file. Third is the name of your project or subject. Last is your name, and you all know the extension name is standing for the. File format. If you are interested for this file naming system, you can go to YouTube and search for the world's best file naming system to learn more. Sometimes you need to rename a large number of files. The rename five is the first software I recommend it. It has many functions, but it only for Macintosh system. There are also many Windows rename software you can use. The second section is file version. File version is keeping track of our data. Just as the situation that comic at start shows, we don't have to name our files with name final, the last final, final reversed, corresponding with the file naming. The file version is another way to solve that problem. The best practice one: use ordinal numbers for major version changes. And a decimal for minor changes. And the best practice too: use this to distinguish between successive versions. You can also use the date created model, year, month, day, to name your data.、Mm, these two practices are always used to name the research data files, especially for research involving experiments. The last section is file structure, about how we handle folders. No matter we use Windows or Mac, we always use the hierarchical folder structure. The first best practice is avoid overlapping categories. You can see the second example is very clear. You know how to put your well. You should put your data, but the first one is confused. The best practice too: don't let your folders get too big. It's too hard to find your files, 
and uh, best practice 3. Don't let your structures get too deep. You can't find them. Now I can give you some useful methods for file management. The first one called ABC method. You can name your folders with alphabet order and put files separately with their title. When you search for files, it's just like search for contact information in your mobile phone. You can apply this method into Dropbox or your computer as well. The second one called organizing folders with colors and icons. Use different colors and icons to differentiate the different files. These two software are for managing your disk memory space. Sometimes you will surprisingly find the files and the folders you have already forgotten using this memory management. The last one is only for Mac, but it's super useful. Use it to search for anything in your Mac. This software called Alfred. Wish you enjoy this video and adopt some tips and methods to increase the efficiency of your work. I will be happy to see that. In the end, let's review what we have learned today.